guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get our latest updates and what not guys and as per a friend request now this is a video about Kamenin Fine Sciences the first and foremost thing is we see this company's book value but in this company it is different first of all thing we are not going to see about the book value we are going to see the price to earning ratio guys as you can see here this company is a chemical based company i mean the products are all chemical based products and as you as the main fact you should note that guys the industry p is this 34 and its p is 141 34 is to 141 guys see the amount of variation this company has it is over over valued guys and also you should note that the book value of this company is 26.53 we also saw the book value of this company previous it also it has been it has been maintained in the range of 60 to 20 rupees but the main fact is that don't go and invest this time guys the main problem is that maharashtra pollution board has been has given a closure of its chemical plant in maharashtra if you don't believe me i will show you guys as you can see here this news i will get guide so you can see here camera in fine senses chat slip 4.5 percent due to the closure notice from Maharashtra Pollution Control Board guys so if you are not that created any fresh positions in this share then I would my advice would be that don't go and invest in this share at this time the next question is could you could ask me that what would be the best price to invest and whether this company is good if you can ask me guys this company is good I'm not saying this company is good but the main thing what should be the price to invest the price now let us come to an analyze so that we could also tell what would be the best price to invest. So now let us see what would be the best price to invest in this company. The first of all things you show the financials guys. If you see the financial this company is solidly earning 143 crores or 170 crores as revenue per quarter. And if you see the total total profit this company is earning, this company is earning around 15 crores of profit. It has been an improvement and also the total profit is around uh, 7 crores guys. If you see September 18, the, the company is trying to earn the range of 2 crores to 10 crores per quarter. And also the EPS growth is normal guys. I mean, I mean the EPS growth has been in the range of 4 rupees to 5 rupees. If you see the balance, the second, balance, second thing is that this company the total net worth is, is 344 crores and loan is 313 crores guys i mean the debt of this company is equal to this capital uh, so it is it is a bit bad if we compare that guys and also if you see the financial ratios you could give you your main point if you see the financial ratios the main thing is that the current ratio is 1.08 and 3.66 so it is fairly valued but not correctly valued guys and also the interest cover is okay normal and the main thing the share holding pattern of this company is first thing guys the share holding is not mainly owned by a promoter it is majorly owned by foreign direct investments company and domestic institutional investors so the final point which I try to say in this company what would be the best price and what price would they invest in this company if you ask me the best price I would invest is if you see 26 rupees guys this is the uh, book value let us let us value this twice also into two which gives you around 50 rupees 52 rupees and because of the closure of the plant there may be a downfall so 52 rupees minus uh, 3 rupees guys so it gives you around 48 rupees so it means 45 to 48 would be the best price to invest in this company and if the profit increases and if it comes out of the case then we may see a target only if the company poses the same amount of profit in future we may see maybe i see a target of 90 rupees in this company if sure but if you are holding this share now at the range of 60 rupees 50 rupees now my advice to you guys would be the best price to exit you can exit in the range of 80 to 85 rupees that would be the best price the reason because even if the share price increases up to 100 rupees or 120 rupees 
but this company is overvalued and any time you may see a deep crash in this share and you will thank me that time guys because this company is overvalued i'm showing you again okay, the pe ratio of this company is 141 and ntcp is 34 this is undervalued so it is a negative point and also the Maharashtra plant closure that is a second negative point so keeping this all facts in a single go we may see a target of 45 to 48 rupees that would be the first limit if it breaks the 45 to 48 we may see a price don't fall up to 38 rupees i hope i have answered your queries guys if you have any other queries then make sure you leave the comments below so that we could help you out and don't forget to press the subscribe button below so that it would get it would be a nice for us and nice for you guys and see you in the video very soon